time, 7 a.m. I have been driving for three hours. I'm currently somewhere that I have never been before. Right there. I can read that, but it said West Virginia. I'm in West Virginia. This is the start of the One Rod, One Reel Challenge Series, which twice a month, aiming for twice a month, I'll be driving one of you guys for a 1v1 fishing competition. I got about two and a half hours left to go, and then we will be challenging West Virginia Bassin at a lake of his choice. We'll go over the details soon. It's 1020. We are on the final stretch of this drive. Appear to be in a mountainous region of West Virginia. Honestly, I have uh, no clue where I am. All I know is that I will be fishing Elk Fork Lake with Logan, AKA West Virginia Bassin. For this series, I literally had you guys message me in my DMs. I randomly selected one of you and well, now we're driving out to do a little 1v1 fishing competition. And you know what? Why don't we go into the details of this challenge once we arrive, which uh, won't be very long. Whew. Good, how are you, man? I like the GoPro. Hey, I appreciate it. Good to meet you, good to meet you, Michael. Good to meet you. Logan. All right, so we made it to Lake Elk Fork. Is that Elk right? Fork. Why did you uh, choose this location, by the way? Uh, I chose it because it's got some pretty good largemouth in here. All right, area. fair enough. And that is the species of choice today. Yes. So why don't we go ahead and break down the uh, the rules real quick? Okay. Now you know it's the one rod, one reel challenge. Yep. Let me see what you selected, my friend. Okay, I selected my uh, Daiwa Tatula reel. Nice, nice. On a favorite six stick. All right, very and nice. And I got a 15 pound beeline on there with a bandito bug. Perfect That's probably color. what I'm gonna start out with. And then when it yep. gets a little windier later, I might pull out a chatterbait. That's actually a very similar strategy to myself. So I've got my Guggen Gold Series reel with a uh, Gold Series rod. I've actually selected the Reaction rod because I thought my main... Is that Shad right there? Yeah, Shad popping? Yeah, they've been busting everywhere. Oh, right man. Yes. Is there top water action going on here? Or There's some top water action. Okay, you all right. You can have some really big blubs. Really? Whew. Yes. I was, you told me the water was going to be stained, and clearly it is uh, quite stained. Yes. Because we had a ton of rain. Oh, yeah. You probably yeah. had a ton of rain, too. Yeah, yeah. We got hammered with Yeah, I was thinking... Spinnerbait might be key for me, but I'm also going to be fishing a black and blue jig as well. Those are my two yep. primary baits. I have a couple hidden reserve ones. We'll see if they get pulled out or not. Dude, those shadow going They're, are popping. Yeah, they are. Then number two, after the rod and reel, obviously we've said the name of the lake. Yep, name of the lake. And you've selected the John boat right here, I see. Yes. That'll John. be our mode of transportation. Then the species, largemouth. Yep, largemouth. Uh, and then we're going to do... A time limit, you said about four, you want to do four or five hours, something yeah, like that? Yeah, four or five, it's up to you, man. All right. I'm fine with either. All right, and would it be fair if we each get the front control of the boat half yes, the time, yes, something yes. like that? That's what I was going to ask you. Okay, if you want to take over and stuff so you're not in the back the whole time. Gotcha, yeah, yeah and uh, you know, it's your home lake, I want to learn from you. So why don't you take the first half? I got you. And then I'll do the second half. Okay. And good then deal. I'm going to choose how we score the competition, if that's cool with you. Okay, that's cool with me. So why don't we do biggest three bass by weight? Biggest three bass by weight, that sounds Sound good, good my friend. All, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, by the way, do you have any socials that uh, you want to shout out real quick? Yes. My YouTube is WV Bassin. Yep. WV period Bassin. Yep. And I'm on there on YouTube, Instagram, Instagram. and TikTok. Okay. All three of them. All right. three platforms. And I'm going to have Logan's socials linked down below. You can click on them. Appreciate it again for yeah, having me out there it, and being the first contender in the One Rod, in One Real Challenge. One. Yep. You ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. All right. Man. Let's go, let's dude. Let's do it. All right, guys. I'm going to get the GoPro strapped on, rig up my bait, and Time starts now, we'll set a timer and we'll switch halfway through, see what happens. <sighs> man, dude, it is looking pretty froggy. Yes, oh is. man, I like, well, I've been thinking too. let's see what the, I'm just gonna bend down and get it, see what the water temp, the water's not too bad, it's probably like, it was 62. I was gonna say was low to mid 60, low to mid 60s. You know, you're starting on the bottom. I was planning to start with the spinner bait, but seeing these conditions, I'm actually gonna have to, I'm gonna start with the frog, bro. I gotta, I gotta pull out the frog. Okay. Let's see what we got here, guys. I was not expecting to throw a frog at all today, but this is just too good looking right here. This should be perfect. We're gonna use the popping Guggen frog right here. I've actually not even thrown it yet. So this will be my first time throwing it. I've thrown the filthy frog a ton. Yeah, I'd be super hyped to see something blow up on this frog. Yes, I would too. <laughs> 
release and there's no musky in here. Oh, oh it's catch release here. It's catch release oh, wow, that's here. great. In this lake? Yep. You have to. Yep. Wow, that's great. They allow you to keep crappie, but long okay. fast, they have to go back. Wow. Is there a lot of lakes like this in West Virginia, or this is pretty un pretty rare to have a catch and release only lake? Uh, it's pretty rare. Gotcha. That's fair. A lot of them allow you to keep the fish. That's fair, because people, you know, that is, you know, Size an angler's right. That, yeah, yeah, to eat. Although I, I think there's a lot better fish to eat than largemouth, in my opinion. Oh yes, yes. Ooh. Oh, what was that? He was chasing my bandito. He, I was reeling it out quick. You were like you were swimming it. Yeah. I I saw that. Find the little pads here. That was a big one. Was it a big one? Yeah. That, oh. I seen the top of the fish. It was really? Four or five pounder. Really? All day. Damn. That that's crazy how, like, <laughs> I mean, that's a huge hint for today. They might need something moving, bro. Yeah. Might need to switch to a moving bait. Actually, pull out something I was definitely not expecting to throw today. Got to pull out the swim jig. But with a black trailer, though. Oh, with a black trailer. Probably not, right? Yeah, I've never done that either. Then Lake Fork guy was showing me that, and he was he said he does pretty decent when you just go opposite contrasting colors. Really? So you know what? With this water clarity, this, this might be the time to take a page out of Rackley's book right here. I've never tried it, but it seems like this is, feels right to do it today. We're gonna go ahead and grab a love grub, get that twin tail thumping action onto my grass here right here like oh yeah all right this looks very interesting all right win business first cast first cast nice. oh my gosh dude i was resetting my gopro first cast can you believe that I just went right through there too. did you really yep. rackley <laughs> this fish is for you buddy <laughs> uh, now I don't know if I'm gonna catch. Uh, I don't, is, are we? What, what do you think? Do we weigh this fish? Not even 12 inches. Does it need to be 12 inch minimum? What do you think? They don't have to be a 12. Okay. Minimum. No. Okay. We'll weigh it then. Yeah, I'm gonna. Throw Official it. weight. Point seven eight. All right. Point seven eight. Yep. Just under. I'll record that. That'll be one of three for my limit. One Thank you, little three. guy. I appreciate that. You know what looks pretty good? Like I've never been to this lake. Just looking at this, this is insanely picturesque. This, I mean, this is as bassy as it gets. So that was my first bass I've ever caught in West Virginia. We've actually caught it on the pads. Logan said in a couple weeks these pads are gonna be growing up a lot more. There's only a few emerging ones right now, but the, the his fish that he got bit and my fish were both right in there. Yeah, both clumped in there. Credit to Rackley for that contrasting. Swim jig or jig combination, very interesting. If you guys look, I'll show you guys a picture of the lake. We are on the very westernmost side. This is where the creek flows in. Dude, this looks super. I mean, you can really see that. You got the June bug, love grub, plus the grass here, white swim jig. That looks doesn't very doesn't really look natural, but it's definitely very vibrant in this dirty water. That could be key. The water visibility is about one foot. Water, but yeah. Maybe the top okay. Yeah. All right. So we're in about three and a half feet of water. My rod tip's now touching. We're in the stump field. I mean, this looks absolutely incredible back here. A stump right there. Yeah. <laughs> we just gotta watch out. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I've never. I don't want to jinx anything, but I've never fallen out of a John boat before, or a boat, or a boat. Period. Hopefully today's not the day. I probably just jinxed myself. But we're, we're moving away from the bank into the stump field now. Gonna work this and uh, see if we can't find something something big out here. The wind's picking up. This is uh, this is power fishing, getting power fishing conditions right here. This is good for the pads, but I can actually go with my planned strategy for this competition. Look at that. The new bumper. The new bumper. That's right. See, this thing has a I don't know if you've thrown one yet, but it has, it is by far the most vibrant, like uh, most, hmm, most thumping spinnerbait I've ever used, period. That's what you want. Got the gold blades, bright orange color. Perfect color for it. Yeah, I mean. That big Colorado blade on it. 
Yeah, two double. I was actually planning to throw this most of today. That's that was my uh, without even coming out here. I was thinking this would be the bait. I haven't jumped though. The carp. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got him, dude. Oh, that's, that's got another decent. Hey, that's gonna put you in the lead. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. That definitely puts you in the lead. Nice job, dude. You got one. Oh yeah. Oh, that might be a little smaller than yours. Uh, I should think we might actually be dead tied here. You know how to you know how to get that lip gripper on? There we go. You pull it out. Yeah. Yep. Mine was 0.78. Logan's got fish number one. Five. Did you lock on the point? It keeps bouncing. Honestly, 0. 0.6. We'll just call it 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you call. It, yeah. It, it kept bouncing. Good so, stuff. Yeah. Like, that's probably you how you. Went in right there. <laughs> and here, the first fish on the happy trailer too. First fish on the happy trailer. Now, were you casting in the stump field? What were you doing? Yeah, I was bringing it right through this set of stumps. Right yep. Here. Yep. All right. Well. Kind of up towards the surface of the water. Yeah. So we're getting some action now. First 30 minutes, not really anything, but the last 10 minutes, I got a fish. He's gotten a bite, and he's landed a fish. So I think we're figuring out a pattern. We got the wind blowing down into this pocket here. It got a massive stump field. I'm feeling pretty good. I think next fish is gonna be a big one. All right, it's 1.30, two and a half hours have elapsed. Current standing, I'm gonna lead with 0.8 pounds of fish. Logan in second place with 0.6 pounds of fish. Why don't we have a little halftime update, bro? What's going on today? Uh we're struggling out here just a little bit. The bite's a little off, but we've caught, like he said, two fish now. We actually got bumped coming up this bank twice now. He got hit on the jig, and then I had one went first it. So I'm going to give Mike here the trolling motor. We're going to go up Main Lake, and we're going to see if we can pick out any more fish. Yep, that's the plan. Still figuring out these fish, as I mentioned. We think they're on beds. I mean, you probably know for fact, or oh, fact yeah, they're on beds. Some on beds. Yeah, some on beds, and you know, this water is very dirty. We're like blind squirrels here trying to find nuts, just <laughs> throwing our baits in. Got to get lucky. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Yep. We'll see what we can do. They're just not interested. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, so like. Oh! What? Oh, you need a net, bro? Oh, let's go! Dude! Did you help with that? You got him. Let's go, dude. Oh, no, no, no. What did you just put on? That uh, chatterbait through the Oh, pads. look at those eyes. What the, wait, why are their eyes so red? Yeah, that's how they've been here lately, cold. Dude, all you had to do is go to the back of the boat. Then yep. you pull, that was literally yep. like your first cast. First cast right through the pads on a, that's actually a weedless chatterbait. Dude, I'm yeah, you pulled out the Lake Fork Guy special. Yep. The white the trail <laughs> with the black and blue bladed jig. Oh Shout my God. Dude, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm definitely in second after that fish. Logan got a beautiful fish right here. We didn't get a weight on her. I mean, that's clear. That's got to be probably a little over two. You think over two? Yeah, I think, I think so, but the scare will tell us for sure. All right, official weight. Oh yeah. 2. 2.2. 2.2. 2.2 on the dot. Awesome. All right, get the release on her. Oh, look yeah, how dirty that water is. Whew, good job, man. Hey, I appreciate it. All right, you just literally just casting it in there, throwing it in there, nothing yep. special. Just right work. up at that log, yep. let it sink a little, and was just working it through those yep. lily pads. Yep, that's, I mean, that's, I just switched back to the swim jig. This looks really, really juicy. I mean, if he caught one there, there's probably more. But now we've got a challenge on our hands. This could get get pretty interesting. In Bro, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> we might be going back down that way. I don't know if I can, if I can battle this wind very well. Bro, with this wind, I'm gonna have to change my plan. I'm not gonna be able to one battle it very well and two control the boat very well. We're gonna run back down and just fit, fish this bank again. Now that we got well, before we flipped it, now we got reaction baits. Yeah, we so we'll try the reaction baits on uh, down this way. I'm gonna go around your buddy here. I don't wanna get in his way. Oh, man. Tough, right? Yeah. I know. We picked up a few stragglers, but not a whole lot. I can't even pick up that. Oh, I hear you. You went up in the creek, any? No. Man. Man, just tough day for everyone, huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we knew it was tough because, like, yeah. we came out here not getting any bites. And just last week, you were crushing it. You got, yeah. what, a six-pounder? Yeah, six-pounder. 
the lake has to treat me like this today. One rock comes out. The lake. Hey, it happens, bro. I mean, you can't control the weather conditions. So that's good. It's still good information though, because I mean, your buddy usually slays him out here, right? Oh yeah. And I, I sound like he has not got a single fish yet. Is that correct? Yeah, he hasn't even yeah. had a bite. So not, not even had a bite. bite. So we know he fished. So process of elimination here, we can actually use that to our advantage. <laughs> he fished over there, so yeah. no bites. He said he did not fish the creek, right? Did not fish the creek. You know, I, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to head over to the creek, bro. There's probably not many people that come back here. I assume. Nah, not a whole lot. Just, just way too dangerous. All right, let's see if we can't make it to the back of that creek. Cause I like this area, like especially this area, cause you got all the different types of grass and cover all combined. Yeah. Plus it's shallow, and we know they should be shallow. So this, this area is just, it just stood, yeah, stood out to me a lot. <laughs> cause this whole lake has, you know, stumps everywhere. Yeah. But it's like, this is a little different cause it actually has everything clustered together. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This lake gets so covered up with pads, it's all. Oh, there's a little bait fish activity. Yeah, there was. Oh, something popping back here. <laughs> Maybe this is the magic where the magic's happening. Oh, this magic! Magic is happening! Oh! Oh! Net bro! Net bro! Oh! Bro. Oh, there it is! Oh, okay, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Get him, bro! Let's go! <laughs> bro, you know what I love about you? We're in a competition, but yes, I could sir. tell you wanted me yeah. to catch that fish. Oh, for sure. Bro, I appreciate it. Dude, this is crazy. We tried so much stuff, and we finally made something happen. Let's go. Hey, that's a fist bump. No, I appreciate Good that, job, man. man. <laughs> I feel like this is more of a team effort than a competition today. Oh, it is so hey. tough. Oh it my gosh, so dude, we've literally tried everything today. We have less than an hour left to fish. The Goo Good Squad bumper, baby. The bumper came in close. That's a good fish, dude. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go ahead and get this fish unhooked. Dude, someone's caught it before. That's probably oh, you. Definitely. You probably caught it before <laughs> out here. Let's get a weight on her. That's a good fish. Yeah, thank you, thank you. No problem. Official weight. Okay. Dude, you called it, right? 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 Right close to right, Yeah, 3.2. 3.2 all right my friends that puts fish, my total at four and you're not far behind you're at 2.8 so you're just about a pound just about a pound under <sighs> there we go guys never give up never give up let this fish go oh my look it just disappears <laughs> and what would you say four inches of visibility right four there inches of visibility. Not thank, much at thank all. you my friend appreciate no it problem. all right I'm, I'm gonna have to get us out of here so that shows anything. That yeah. was white. Oh yeah, dude. That your bait was literally. I mean, this is a brand new, ah, uh, happy trailer. It was pearl white. Look at it. That's that's the type of mud we're dealing with. So massive storms and a lot of clay apparently. A lot of clay. Yeah, a lot of so clay. it's just making this water zero visibility. Let me show you my look. Look at my hand, and you, it goes down maybe four or five inches until it disappears. And we're dealing with heavy winds. And heavy winds. The winner is determined by, I mean, I would say whoever gets their limit is probably going to win, bro. Yeah, I would let's say Let's get so. back at it. We got a little bit more time? We got one more fish Yeah, each. let's keep grinding in this beautiful, beautiful lake. Oh, it's over, bro. It's over. Good contest. Good contest. Hey, you know what? Let's head back to the cars because I got something to show you. Okay. No, you messaged me no. and said you had a broken rod. So I got you. This is my last go-to rod. I gotta get order some more. Oh, I gotta get them sending me some more. But you're just in, you're just in luck. This is my last go-to green series rod. Dude, you did not have so I saw that message. Oh when goodness. I saw that message, I was like, oh, dude, that's <laughs> you had your your Guggen rod. You can't even bring it out. So I don't know what kind you broke. I'm assuming it might have been a go-to. It was the green series go-to. Okay, hey, it was a perfect replacement then. Yeah, it's perfect. But there you go, dude. Hey. Thanks again for being the first One Rod, One Reel Challenge Series participant. Yep. It was a great challenge. We had some insanely tough conditions. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys could did. see the white caps that we're dealing with out here. And that was that was that was some tricky fishing. It but it was very tough. Fishing. But we each got rewarded with a nice fish. Yeah, we did. And uh, now we're actually gonna head to Logan's buddy's tackle shop. Yep. Which is uh, probably about a 40 minute drive. You mind sending me that address? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. we're gonna meet you guys over there. All right, we've made it to Logan's local tackle shop in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Yep. So this is Ohio River 
outdoors. Wanna hit it, bro? Let's hit it. All right, this actually looks a bit bigger than I was expecting. I thought it'd be like a small local type thing. It's oh, like yeah, a man. legit It's pretty type. legit here. It is pretty legit. Holy moly. Dude, this place is huge. So this is what, I mean, you probably get everything here, huh? Oh yeah, this, this is our local, local tackle. This has got to be the best tackle that you can, biggest tackle store within like a hundred miles is my guess. Oh yeah. Uh, we are rated number one in the tri-state area. Really? Oh, Michael, nice to meet you, man. Hey, Doug. So nice tell me a little about your tackle store here. Uh, we started in 2014. Mm -hmm. We started just a little corner in the building. Wow. And overnight it's went to what you see. <laughs> That's, this is incredible. I mean, you said, and I can believe it's rated number one in the tri-state. This is, even among all the tackle, for local tackle stores, I have never seen one this big. The only ones I've seen bigger are like, you know, a Bass Pro or a Cabela's. They are 43,000 different SKUs in here, so 43,000 different items. Wow. Uh, we actually have Bass Pro or uh, well, Cabela's sending people down to us. Really? Wow. So you say you have a better, actually, I can believe that, a better fishing tackle selection than Cabela's. We have a better one than Cabela's. Wow. And yep. actually, I can actually confirm that because I, when I, right when I walked in, just looking at these reels, look at the selection. I mean, I know Cabela's doesn't have this many this this variety of reels that you have right here we have over four thousand rods in store four thousand four thousand that is store. that is this is a incredibly loaded store this my goodness is only half of my reels oh wow there's a closet over there and it's closed full of reels oh my goodness and i know you're about to close i appreciate oh, i think you're closing like three minutes i appreciate you showing me uh showing me around and we don't have time i mean this store is way bigger like guys this store is way bigger than you're even thinking so if you ever have a chance to come here come down to ohio river outdoors visit doug check out his store because there's no i can't i just can't show you there's too much we, stuff we, we take you around we are knowing all over uh for our musky selection i heard there's big musky fishing uh in this oh, area yes. logan yes. was telling me 230 some feet long eight foot tall wow so why don't you sh uh, do you have a musky lure collection because that's something i personally almost never see in this, tackle stores this is all Oh, oh my God! <laughs> 208 or 235 Woo. feet musky wall. Wait, how big is it? It's, it's 235 feet long. Two? Oh, wait, this whole wall. That's yeah, a whole wall. Yeah, hold this for a second. Look. Look at this. This is one end of the wall, and you can run all the way down. These are all musky baits. All the way down here. This is insane. It's still musky. It's all musky down here. It's... Oh my gosh! I, it, you can look at. <laughs> look at this bait. You tell me people fish. Look at this bait. It's literally that, that's, that's actually the smaller one. There's, there's one that's actually bigger than that. You're telling me this is the smaller that, bait? That's the smaller one. Yes. That people use for musky? Oh my yeah. gosh. So this is a pike. So this must be like the enemy of the musky or something. They just yeah. attack that. Have you ever uh, have you ever thrown this by any chance? Not, no. Yeah, this is a crazy looking bait. Oh my goodness. Well, man, this is a super impressive store. Then we have uh, a Guggen selection. Oh, nice. Beautiful. A whole wall for Guggen baits. I love to see it. Yeah. That is awesome, man. Thank you. Quite welcome. The beautiful tackle store. Hey, thank you so much for showing me around. Any, anytime. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Give me, give me one right here. Oh, sorry. I meant to do one of these. There you go. I was holding the bait. <laughs> and guys... Big shout out to my friend Logan hey, here. Appreciate it. We had a good day out there. Yeah, it was a little tough. But we, we tackled still the conditions, some. caught some fish. That is it for the One Rod, One Reel Challenge Series number one. If you want to be in the next challenge series, I'll drive to you. We'll have a 1v1. Look down below in the comments to see how to enter. It's going to be amazing. Twice a month, we're going to have a lot of fun. Peace.